Colin, did you text them? All right, and once everyone gets settled, we can start. All right, so my name is Ayan Tabani. I am the co-president slash co-founder alongside Cullen Zhu of the Memorial High School Investment Banking Club. Um, we started last year and we've been successful enough to create our own website and our own project to expand curriculum to other schools. And we've currently started at two other schools right now and we're working on the third. So yeah, it's a pretty big project and it is very interesting as you're about to see. So I'm gonna start by just having you guys scan this. This is just so that we know who came when. We're not going to chastise you if you don't come to a meeting, right? We just like it for our own analysis purposes. What's up, Carter? Okay, and this is our link tree and website. So I'm sure a lot of you guys have acquainted yourself with the link tree. This is where you can find our Instagram, or Remind if you haven't already joined that. So if you haven't scanned the link tree yet, I'd recommend you scan it now. And then that's the website that I'm gonna show you later. So you don't need to worry about that right now. But uh, yeah, everyone good with the link tree? Seems as so. Okay, so then we'll just start by introducing our officers. And I know a lot of you are here because you're interested in officer positions. And we're going to cover that in like the next minute. So I have already introduced myself. And if you have already looked at our officers graphic, you'll notice that we're divided into two sections, curriculum and graphic. So I'm the president of curriculum. I create curriculum, I curate curriculum, I organize curriculum, so on and so forth. And Cullen can come and introduce himself right over here. Posters, stuff like that, and all the presentations for the graphics. Um, I love that. I also love marketing and stuff. That's basically, it. if you're interested in a position, you gotta think about you wanna do curriculum for the more finance side, or graphic with the design side. All right, and then Matt couldn't be here with us today because he did have a dentist appointment, but he is the vice president of graphic. So if you have any questions regarding what that might entail, make sure to ask Colin at the end of today's meeting. And William couldn't be here as well, unfortunately. Not entirely sure why I'm gonna follow up with him on that, but he is in charge of curriculum. So if you have any questions regarding, well, what curriculum may entail, then make sure to ask the one who's speaking right now. Uh, we're just gonna head into our next section right over here. And these are our other officers, associate, associate, analyst, analyst. You may notice that it's not as typical as another club in that we don't have well, a social media chair or publicity chair, so on and so forth. We've actually structured it the way we have because this is what it looks like at an investment bank. Highest is MD, or managing director, aka president. Uh, and your starter level position right after undergrad is all an analyst. So when you're in this club, you're learning a lot about real life. You're learning about how real life finance works, uh, which is pretty cool, pretty neat. So I'd like Kevin to introduce himself right over here. He's the graphic associate. And just talk a little bit about yourself in the club. Um, Kevin Lama, I'm the graphic associate for MHS's IBC. Um, I basically just make posters, um, flyers, I design a lot of the like infographics we have that help you understand the content, and the curriculum. Uh, it's a great club. Thank you, thank you. I really like that last part. Uh, Nicholas. All right, I'm Nicholas. I'm the curriculum associate. Uh, basically, I uh, help making the curriculum. So like the slideshows, you'll see me, sometimes I make some of the slides, like the text, the readings, and uh, I'm mostly up here reading and teaching y'all. 
about what I wrote on the slideshow. Awesome. And uh, Crawford, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be here, but I think he got lost. We usually meet in the new building and we changed this year. I don't know if he got the message. He does use an Android, so he's not a part of all of our group chats. So don't use an Android, just kidding. Uh, but he's a curriculum analyst, and that's kind of your entry-level curriculum position. You're not going to be doing crazy things. At the same time, you're not going to be doing absolutely boring and mundane. And then we have our graphic analysts, Keith and Carter. So Keith and Carter can both come up and speak. I think Keith was here a second ago. Reed, do you know where you are? Okay, you have to go. Yeah. Um, I'm Carter Coleman. I help design some of the slideshows and the pictures on the slideshows. And you will never see me up here speaking, hopefully. OK. Oh, yeah. By the way, if you're in curriculum, you're probably going to speak a lot more than the person who's in else. So you know, if you consider yourself a bit more introverted or you don't want to speak in front of other people as much, then graphic may be where you lie. But uh, let's talk a little bit about our purpose. So Nicholas, can you walk us through this? All right, it's me again. Uh, I didn't make this one this time, but. In the future, you know, I'll be there. So it may not investment banking may not immediately register in your brain as it is a niche, but what we could what we what we at IBC want to do is ingrain in your brain that investment banking is a prominent job within finance and can be as viable as becoming a doctor, lawyer, engineer, or engineer in terms of compensation. And I'm gonna walk through that with you guys a lot in a second. But uh, what I did forget to do was walk you through officer positions, which I did say I was going to. So I didn't put a graphic on the slides, but I did put it uh, on the link tree. So let me navigate to that. On our application, I don't know why I didn't open that, my bad. So that's right over here. I can expand that. That did not come out in the best of quality, but so on and so forth. So managing director is what is at the top. And we're going to walk through what an investment bank is structured like in 1.2. So we actually have five chapters of curriculum. I'm going to walk you through that as well on our website because it gives a better visual breakdown. But managing director is what's at the top. They get paid the most. They're involved with the most relationships in that, you know, you're going to be talking to the most people in that position. And, uh, well, within our club, your curriculum MD is going to be curating curriculum, lecturing, general organization. Less of this right here because we've already made all the curriculum for you. So you just have to learn it for the most part. And we have videos on our website. Again, I'll walk you through that. Graphic MD, it's all about graphics and managing those graphic officers that are below you. So if you want to equate this to some general term that you've heard of, that's president. Then you have your VP, which um, do a lot of the same things. Your curriculum VPs may edit videos that you post on YouTube. Notice that there's a YouTube section within our link tree. Uh, you might assist in lectures, or you will assist in lectures as a curriculum VP. And then you're also going to help organize meetings with investment bankers. So one really important skill that you're going to need in life is emailing. And something I've noticed is a lot of people aren't the best at emailing, and that's OK. Um, the, it, it just has to do with formatting. It has to do with delivering a concise message, you know, less passive voice, more active voice. That's something you're going to work on a lot of when you're a curriculum VP. And your graphic VP just goes down to managing the Instagram. If you've noticed, we have one of the highest uh, follower to following ratios on Instagram, which is pretty cool out of all investment banking, I mean, out of all MHS clubs. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, you're going to be doing a lot of that. You're going to be doing a lot of managing the Google Classroom and creating Google Forms. Also, notice that it may seem a bit pretentious uh, that I am recording myself as I do lecture. I post everything on the Google Classroom in the case that you miss a day. I do know that you guys are busy, so I don't want to hold you to this. And then your curriculum associates are going to do a lot of well, what the vice president can't, but as well, you're just going to formulate ideas if you are a curriculum associate on what we can do during our meetings. Your graphic associate's going to distribute the flyers that are made, usually by your vice president or the president themselves. You're going to hang it around the school, essentially. I'm sure you've seen some of our graphics. And then your analysts, uh, don't worry about this part right here, which says making articles. I know it's odd because I can only decipher that. I think I wrote it. Uh, <laughs> You're going to be doing a lot of the work that well, your associate and your VP may not have been able to do, but 
on the plus side, that's training you for taking on those higher roles. So that's officers in a nutshell. And I should probably zoom out of that. There we go. But um, this is our curriculum. So if you notice, or if you walked by our poster on Club Fair, we had some samples of what our curriculum looked like, officer positions, some meetings, so on and so forth. So I'm actually going to walk you through the curriculum on our website right now. So if you type in www.ibcproject.co, we couldn't get the com domain. It was too expensive, so we got the co. Don't mind that. But you can, after becoming a member of our website, which obviously is completely free, you can go to any chapter. We have five chapters. And then you can go through our modules, essentially. And uh, if we go to 1.1 as an example, you're going to have a downloadable version of the slides. You're going to have a video taught by, of course, yours truly. And then you're going to have some notes for more extensive learning for each slide. So we've already created this. We've already organized this. So if you want to become a managing director or a VP, the last thing I'd want you to worry about is, how am I going to learn all of this efficiently? We've created that ergonomic process for you. Now it just comes down to your determination and your grit. So that's a little bit about our website. And of course, uh, we have the chapters that we've expanded across the nation on there as well. But we are currently updating it. We're busy students and athletes. That's a little bit about the curriculum, but I just want to talk about what investment banking is. And funnily enough, it's a bit of a misonomer, uh, the name. You may think that it's something, but it's actually something else. So I, I just wanted to ask, what do you guys think it is? And don't be afraid to you know, raise your hand and talk a little bit about what you think it is. Anyone know? What is investment banking? Well, what is investing? Does anyone know what investing is? I know you all know what investing is. Yeah, what's up, Shane? Definitely, that is what investing is uh, in a nutshell. And we're going to talk a lot about the differences between investing and trading because there is a big one. And we're going to talk about that later on. But what I want to dive into are what uh, is what investment banking is. Has anyone heard of an initial public offering before? Have you wondered where your stock comes from? So I know a lot of you are here because you're interested in investing individually. And I'll have a little segment on that afterwards. We're actually running an investment competition with the University of Pennsylvania. David is kind of in charge of that. Hi, David. You can raise your hand. So you can talk to him if you're interested about that. But uh, it is limited to, I believe, seven people within the group. So we'll have to figure out the constituencies regarding that. But anyways, with investment banking, or at least within this club, you're going to learn about where does that stock that you're interested in come from, right? Why do companies need it? And who's the middleman between that person that is selling that stock because he's in need of funds and the other person that's selling it to you. Yeah, stock is sold to you, not directly from the company usually, but from other institutions. Uh, finance is divided into the buy and the sell side. And it's those institutions on the buy side, those hedge funds, those mutual funds. I know you've probably heard mutual funds before that are selling stock to you on the New York Stock Exchange or on NASDAQ. We're going to break down the stock market and we're going to understand how the stock market works, or at least how in a bigger picture it does function and the role that you play within it. This is what investment banking is tied to. It is us serving as the middlemen that allows us to have knowledge regarding all of this. More on investment banking. We're going to learn about mergers and acquisitions. Does anyone know what mergers and acquisitions is? Well, mergers and acquisitions is the process of, well, merging and acquiring companies. It's the most profitable industry in the world. And it's all about, well, this bigger company wants to acquire this smaller company because this smaller company has a product, as a service, as an idea that this bigger company sees is useful to it. Or at least that's one of the reasons why a company may acquire another company. And investment banks, as you may have already assumed, serve as a middleman in a lot of processes, such as the IPO and this process as well. So investment banking is going to break down finance for you. It's going to make you understand it, and it, especially if you're an individual investor, because when you look at a stock chart, you're going to appreciate it so much more while knowing where it's from and knowing where those fluctuations are coming from. Yeah, that's right. You know, a lot of stock fluctuations, a lot of the fluctuations within that graph are not due to individual investors while trading their own stock. It's due to these bigger institutions like hedge funds, mutual funds, and investment banks trading those stocks. A lot of the times, you're not going to see crazy fluctuations when these big institutions load and dump a lot of stock because investment bankers, again, serve as the middleman once more in facilitating that trade. So investment banking is quite literally everything. It's that point of singularity. And you're going to learn so much about finance within this class.
And uh, of course, this is our application. So if you haven't already filled it out, uh, fill it out. Now, obviously, we're not going to reject you or anything like that. It's not a formal application. Again, it just puts your name in our database so we know who does exist a part of our club in the case that we ever need to make shirts, so on and so forth. We have a number that we can rely on. And then it has some other information on there, questions, concerns, comments, so on and so forth. I'm just going to get a sip of water. Well, if we got that wrapped up, on the link tree, you'll notice that there is a Google Classroom, which is where I upload all of the videos regarding any presentation we do have, so on and so forth. So it might be beneficial that you join this in the case that you do miss a meeting. So after you finish up your application, or notice on the application, there is a link tree link right at the top in the bio. Just click that, and you'll have access to the Google Classroom in the case that you can't scan this. And that really is it for today's orientation. So I know you probably have some questions such as, well, when are officers elected, so on and so forth. And we're deciding on that right now. This is probably the most amount of members we've had within our club. So uh, officers may be looking a little bit different this year, so on and so forth. We're going to have to figure that out. But we'll make sure that by the conclusion of Unit 1, we have some kind of election system in place or some kind of selection system in place in, in the case that we don't decide to do things democratically. Uh, so hopefully everyone signed that. 